Hi, Leo. Right before I started the video, I realized that Jupiter and Saturn are going to be sitting across from you. So you're kind of backstage, so to speak, and the audience all at the same time, which is interesting for a sign that is always in the forefront, who is always on stage. Um, <coughs> and for you, it just means... Ah, You're getting to hang out and see things as they come. You're taking a back seat. So backstage and being the audience is like seeing yourself from the outside in a certain, so to speak, while at the same time leading your life. But I have a feeling that certain things are going to have to take backstage because through this, you're learning how and where your fire is going to be put even more so and where it needs to be used. And it seems like where it needs to be used is through... Love. A lot of information is going to come to you and knowing that each one of you Leos has a different life, it's important that you find that space to kind of to sit back like the hangman, like the hanged man, like the hangman and know that as this is making its way towards you, it can feel like a rush or feel like you want to act on it right away. Though, here, it needs special attention. Being able to be in observation or be in witness mode is not your usual. So it's important that even though you might want to move on certain things very quickly this season and throughout 2021, it's more important about how you do it and how you are acting and who you are being while you make these moves because there's a lot of insight. You're getting a lot of insight. So A lot of insight on hmm. do, 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 do. what your commitments are, where you're putting this, all these insights that you're gathering, how you're using them. And how it's moving you away from what you've been hurt by. And you're getting the opportunity to make a really clean slate with these things the more that you don't rush it. So I know that sounds kind of counterintuitive, though it's not. It's having this you know this action, the take this step, then take that step, but there's a right time for it. And not that you don't have timing right, though it's more about you normally have no problem just taking the initiative and taking the lead and taking what you have and moving with it. This is not the time to do that. Capricorn season wants you to kind of chill, see what it has to give you, show you the insights and whatever it's giving you, it's going to help you break something, a pattern that you've been breaking for a while 
and that you've been going through, but this is gonna give you this really clean slate to break free from it. Because whatever your, whatever decision you're making and whatever you're deciding upon, beautiful. Whatever that you're, whatever you're deciding upon, whatever decision this making, this conjoining, this communion that you have coming to you this month, um, first of all, it's extra love. So if it's with your partner, if it's with, it, you know, could be a Virgo, if it's with a Virgo in your life, um, know that the commitment's there. This is about an Aquarius, uh, you're a I guess you're going to see their true colors or sorry, an Aries. Ooh, interesting. So this, this breaking free of old patterns is yes, continue to go after and be the predator. Best way I can put it, be the aggressor, but also whatever this cycle is, it's really wanting to make space for you. It wants to make space for different things to come through. You don't have to, again, take this thing right when it comes. You don't have to say yes right away. There's just going to be other offerings. This ending, this cycle, you've kind of been waiting for it to end. It's like you haven't been pushing on it, but the in, what you're learning and that moment that timing, it's just going to feel new. You're going to feel new. And it's the more that you commit to not having pressure to do something right away and to act on something right away. You're putting everything together. And once you do that and see it the way you see it, then you move on it and you quickly move away from whatever had whatever doubts you even if they're just doubts that you have so if this is if the seven of swords isn't about an old cycle necessarily about another person or about how you responded to a person if it's more about your doubt or your insecurities that you feel you have so much to look forward to that letting this go in whatever way that you can would probably be the best thing for you. Why? Well, there's something that wants to come through almost right away as this ends. And I just want to stress that you're learning a lot. You're gaining a lot of insight by taking a step back. And as soon as you know, it's about going, but it's about how you're doing it. Again, how you're how you're deciding to make these exchanges with yourself, with what you're, whatever you're doing. If it's the more, if it's more, uh, if it's about putting more into you in a way that maybe you haven't before, then just don't have expectation of what who the you you become is, because that's not like when you're when you come through, then you have this expectation of something that might take another look. It might take a different perspective. And that's what you're gaining right now is a lot of different perspectives, which is only going to add more to your fire. Yeah. So be really during the season and as we're in winter time i know it's not really your favorite just be really careful about how you indulge um if certain uh habits tend to get you stuck it's only going to slow down this process that you've done so well at already you know so it's about feeling your it's about feeling your best right now. It's about doing what it is that you need to do in order to commit to a life with less strings, with less to worry about, with less doubt, and to be really open about what you're receiving and what you're receptive to 
and having boundaries about what you're not receptive to. Overindulging, again, is not the best thing to do. Um, but if you are ending the cycle, celebrate that which you've moved through. Celebrate the things that have made you stuck because honestly, it's the build is slow. The build, the life that you want, if you're looking for this life and you want this life, the build is a little bit slower. That's okay though. Because again, the slow and steady for you right now is what is making everything, is building everything. So bottom of the deck, feel your best, look your best, know that you're just taking different perspectives right now. You're not on the forefront of the stage and slowly things start to form and you'll know when to take action. Probably by airy season. Let the see let the end of the astro the zodiac let the end of it kind of play out and take your step back this month especially. Um and cheers to you if you are ending cycles of just bad habits, letting allowing deceit into your life, um committing to the jump first with the fall. So it's possibly that you're also you could be someone who is breaking a cycle of um over committing yourself to things that um it that that's it's just not time for, you know? So it doesn't matter if uh you want it to be time or in the past, you know, the timing felt always right right now. That's not how things are. Um so this whatever if when you do feel stuck it's really important that you focus on the long term and what you're building for the long term because that is going to keep you going that's what's really important right now too for you and it's about putting your loving fiery energy into that and not worrying about whatever whoever has done you wrong whatever it was that has hurt you or the doubt that has been or the doubt you may have felt the insecurities that you may have felt because there's something new on the other side this freshness um is giving you capricorn season is giving you the opportunity to really look at a different perspective and that's from sitting with all of the love and creative passion that you have innately and not making any sudden movements with it. You're kind of like, you're the lioness or lion who's kind of scoping things out right now. You're, use that. Remember that that's important. That superpower that you have is to scope things out right now because things are still changing. So I know you feel like, mm, I don't know about this yet. Trust me, that's all just like smoke for you. Just keep seeing through it. Keep seeing longevity. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. This says a lot. And, I, and I'm excited to show you the cards. Um, link for extended reading is below um that will be on patreon you can also book one-on-one -on -one readings i'm also a life coach so you can book that too other things will continuously be available um i'm really excited about it new things yay which i know you love um what else nothing really excited about this for you and I will see you next month in Aquarius season I love you bye Leo this is the second part of your reading the first part I did on Christmas day and it has been I've been very sick since then so uh -uh. here it is for you laid out 
Um, so, the beginning of this month probably seemed, and can for some of you still seem, rather mysterious, rather dark, like you're going through the subconscious layers, possibly. <clears throat> and also you could feel stuck, but, and, it doesn't mean that you are stuck. Some of you might be feeling stuck, though sometimes instead of the fire sign nature to go, 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 whether it's your rising ascendant or moon, sometimes that is actually purposeful pause so you can see what actually is needed in order to continue on your merry way because it's great things for you. Throughout the course of this month, Capricorn season is asking you to gain the insight to allow yourself to purposefully pause, as I might say, in order to create with more ease. And therefore, when you have that flow, it will be also you receiving not only from the universe, but most likely a romantic partner receiving the necessary receptivity <clears throat> to keep upon this freedom path. You... It seems as though that what can hold you up is um, deceit. So also, if you are, just be wary of what who you're committing to and what you're committing to. I honestly don't fully remember the first part of the reading, but I always gain a little bit more insight when I read the cards from this aerial position. So... <clears throat> If there's an Aries that wants to commit to you, just wait. Don't rush anything. Um, and there could be um, a possible love interest with a Virgo as well. Um, either way, I do think I do see the Virgo going much smoother. Though the Aries here, um, I see a little bit more deception possibly. So it's like down here, there's one someone that's offering you one side and another that's offering another side. This one seems like, okay, catch it while it's here. I heard a really cool interpretation of this, the Page of Cups card, and I want to share it with you now because it's coming up, is that the fish is kind of about to jump out. So I believe that one of these offerings of love, or it could just be a contract or commitment, but it does seem like it's love here. Um is that you're kind of your central focus. I mean, your heart is... So the ruler of Leo is the sun, and then the ruler of the sun is the heart. So naturally, Leos are heart-centered anyway. So it could also be a just a certain relationship in your life that you're seeing possible deceit or you moving on from what you've been deceived by, which is going to open up more... Um, offerings coming in your way and those could be love interests just notice the ones that show up in that one you'll have to I see like a couple of them coming through but this one is like you got to catch it while you have it you got to see it and go with it this one just a little bit slower and also just notice if something's too good to be true if that comes up to your head I would not just take that for granted I would actually contemplate that because you're doing you're going by the end of the month you're going to be you've already moved through a lot but there's a lot of um center stage we talked about backstage yes now I'm remembering I normally always remember eventually when I tap back into the energy of the specific thing. Um, and so basically you are kind of taking um, backstage, but it's not, it doesn't mean that you're not still on the stage of your life. Like if you were on stage, you'd probably, you, you'd be the person, you're the person on stage observing other people while they also observe you. <laughs> so it's also about you gaining a lot more freedom by committing by committing to observing, by committing to learning something new, by allowing your stu some stubbornness to fade away, you might even realize that naturally during this time of year, you're wanting to learn something new. Um, so whatever that thing is, it's going to help ignite this creative passion in your relationship with creating or co-creating in a business or in your whatever field of work you do as well as in your current relationships right now because there's old cycles coming to rest and then new cycles begin you I do see it like you having to learn quickly meaning learning to seek rather quickly 
those people or those things that come back to try to bring you back into being stuck. So this is more stuck when that can be contemplation. So you're learning the necessary tools. Well, by the end of this month, you will ha come up against what those cycles are. And you'll either, and you can walk away either successfully or fall back into the traps. Um, and falling like again be easy on yourself if you fall back into it because you will have another chance to come into awareness it's just that 2020 was a big end in cycles and now is the opportunity to put those in motion so I highly suggest so I'm not one of those readers that's like kind of wishy-washy um when I feel something strongly I am really uh advised to say if you learn something and you have learned a lot, it's time to put it in use really just in your own life right now. This is very personal for you. So you're real it's you're at a point in your life where you're building you're possibly building a family. That's what this looks like. And that you want to build a family. You really you to any of those Leo sun, Leo moon, Leo rising out there, by the end of the month you're going to be feeling good, looking even better and just ready to be a part of life in the way that you are a part of it right now. What does that mean? Well, there's a part of you that is learning still what you need, what you want, and in order to have success, feel success, and feel successfully moved on from situations of the past. And because you're a very relationship-oriented sign, it's not that you give too much or too little you still come back to that ego that self-centered nature which is important I'm not that's not something to look upon negatively I think that's negatively used especially in the spiritual community I don't think ego is bad it's actually very necessary and you help us see that which is amazing so it all centers around a lot of a lot of the signs already are being centered around freedom and where that freedom truly lies right capricorn season is very direct <laughs> and it's saying to you that your freedom relies around how much you're willing to focus on where you've been hurt and deceived instead of just moving forward right now with the freedom that you have because committing to yourself committing to the thing that ignites you passionately ignite actually committing to passion is just going to help you move forward in a whole nother way so this is about longevity and how and I remember we talked about this in the beginning how you decide to move forward it's all about how your tone and I know that can be very difficult sometimes though this there's not much it's a lot of doing and action oriented and it's like okay committing and doing it's not talk there's like not a lot of talking going on there's not a lot of not that there's literal talking in cards, but there's not a lot of talking going on in the terms of the visuals of the cards. It's a lot of take this, move on with that. Okay, notice this, move on with that. Okay, I look like feeling good, looking good. Here is the communication. So it's about communicating with yourself, communicating with your partner, communicating about your values, your foundation, your structure, what you want in terms of prosperity. And because Capricorns are one of the greatest manifestors as far as I'm concerned. So if you can get really clear this month about what you want and what you see in terms of this year and the next few years rolling out for you, it's going to be very successful and it's also going to ignite more of that passion, newfound passion for whatever you're learning and whatever you're wanting to move forward with. I'm really excited for you. I have a lot of energy doing this reading. So whatever you've learned, I'm sure there's you've gained insight or realization already if you're a leo who moves a little bit slower um or if you have like other placements in your chart that tends to move a little slower just know that it's on its way and it's going to come at you really quickly and it's going to ask you to and for a leo when you do learn something you're able to put it into use very quickly so just know that it's going to be easy for you to commit to whatever it is or whoever it is that's coming through for you. Just notice deception and deceit. If you're looking over your shoulder, um, that is an, that's an easy way of realizing that that is not the person or that is not the thing. It's learning, you're learning to trust even more in yourself right now and witness yourself on stage as you once were and now you're something, another layer has been kind of washed away.
and you will receive offerings and that will allow you to see if you've truly moved through and past the cycle or if you have it and if you have to go through it a little bit longer. So how you feel and what you notice by the end of the month on how, what you feel about what you're doing and how you're doing it will give you every clue as to if you're ready to celebrate or if this is a vice that keeps coming back over and over again that you have to kick. So longevity is the goal here and also purposeful pause. That's a huge one. Just to sit back and notice, even if it's just for a couple minutes, remember that on stage you're observing yourself, right? And you got this. I love you, Leo. I will see you next month.